Tell me when you're ready. I am ready. You're shooting now, yeah? I am. She likes ice cream and I love the she likes ice cream so Hey, uh, my name is Sean, Sean O'Neill. Um, the best known unknown, I think, possibly in Ireland, but um, yeah, people are singing my songs at funerals now, so how bad, okay. Um, and I came late to songwriting. I had business of, of um, having three children and wearing them before I even started singing, other than in my bath or in my car when there was nobody else in it. But it was what I wanted to do when I was seven. It just took me another 40 years to get going. And I busk. And if I inherited a million tomorrow, I'd be out busking, maybe giving money away, but I could still be up the next day, because I love it. I thought I'd missed the boat, and uh, then I took a boat, came over to Ireland for a long weekend, still happening this weekend. I suppose I wanted to play music to meet the ladies, and then I met the lady, and I, she didn't particularly want me to play music. <laughs> I, I feel, feel guilty any time I even looked at the guitar, never mind picked it up. Whatever year Sinead O'Connor did uh, Nothing Compares to You, I, th I knew this is what I wanted to do, so um, I thought, well, I do sit down maybe for five minutes every day, so I hung my guitar in the bathroom, and so for five minutes every day I would go sit down and do some business, multitask, and pick away at my guitar. That kind of sort of at least got me into a regular guilt-free practice. Finally, on my 47th birthday, I said, this is stupid. No, I gave myself six weeks notice to learn songs. I was messing with, you know, Guy Clark songs, John Prine songs, Lennon Cohen songs. And I went out busking on my 67th birthday, terrified. And you know what, by the time I'd done two and a half hours and got about 20 quid, I just loved it. I uh, went out the same evening, broke a couple of strings, damaged the vocal cords, and um, had to wait a week to get back going again. But I loved it, and a month later, hitchhiking and busking around Scotland, and I came back and I had two and a half songs written. Delighted with myself. That's all I wanted. But they kept coming then after that, and um, within a year I had over 50, accidentally made my first album. Now I play for maybe about three hours at a time session. I do two covers, one Bob Dylan since his 80th birthday, and a John Prime one since he died. Um, other than that, it's my own songs. I don't repeat the song. And then I'm finishing, I'm driving home in the car, or, and I'm thinking, oh shoot, I never sang this, or I never sang that one, you know? So yeah, I, look, I just love it. But I, I've got a few hundred songs now, and, you know, do I need another 10, or another 15, or another 20, or whatever? But sometimes a song like Rainbows and Gold, which I sang earlier on, uh, that one just has got to be finished, like it really. But it's not a song about me. It's a song about you, or a song about him or her. Brilliant, because it's like, um, I always said to my kids when they were growing up, you know, if you can find what you love doing, and even if you can just get enough to get by, you're actually, I think, much better off making loads of money, doing something you hate. It is what it is. I do it because I love it, you know, that's, that's what I do. Then. Too late then to see the view all around in every tree and every single flower in every tree and every single flower You walked here beside me in the sunshine and in the rain We laughed and smiled at rainbows They won't be back again and I realize I'd more than gold. All I need I see in your eyes. All I need I found in your eyes. That's as much as you get. That's it.